why do you think that martial arts and wrestling and boxing can all be so therapeutic and meditative and uh, mentally healthy? Oh, great question. Everybody hear that. Why can martial arts be so therapeutic and healthy? Boxing, martial arts. I'll explain that. We've got to talk about aggression, though. have to talk about aggression. If you have a pack of wolves and a grizzly bear, pack of wolves are hungry, grizzly bear is hungry, and there's a dead deer carcass. Hungry wolves want the deer carcass, grizzly bear wants the deer carcass. What almost always happens? Do they fight? They don't fight. They don't fight, they don't share. They do something else. Why does a bear roar? Why does a bear roar? Let you know how powerful it is to frighten you away. Why do wolves growl? To try to frighten you. So the bear roars, the wolves growl, the bear roars, the wolves growl, they circle around each other, roar and growl, eventually one leaves. So. That is warning aggression. It is a form of aggression that is nonviolent. The entire purpose of warning aggression is to deter violence. Why does a rattlesnake have a tail and shake his tail? Warn you. Why does a cobra go up and spread its hood? To look bigger. Warn you. Why does a gorilla beat its chest? Why does a lion roar? Why do dogs growl? Every animal postures. Warning aggression, posturing, is nonviolent aggression. The entire purpose is Deterring violence. Now, why would animals want to deter violence? Think about it. Animals in the wild, unless they are hunting, do everything they can to avoid violence. Unless an animal is hunting, it does everything it can to avoid violence. Why would they do that? Because violence is dangerous. There aren't any hospitals in the wild. There aren't any emergency rooms. If a bear kills a couple of wolves, even if you kill the wolves, you might break your leg, you might break your jaw, you might get bitten, die from infection. So fighting is dangerous. Animals try to avoid it, unless they're hunting. And a human being's posture? All the time. You ever see two men get in a fight? What do they do? Puff out their chest, stand up, and yell. And scream in each other's faces. And what happens? One guy usually pushes the other guy. Letting him know, look how dangerous I am. Look how strong I am. You better back down. When one man pushes another guy, he is unconsciously thinking, I want this guy to back down. I don't want to have to fight him. I hope that I push him so hard that he'll get scared and go away. When a guy says, I want to kick your butt, he doesn't want to fight you. That's warning aggression. Why did the Romans have those big helmets? Why do Greeks have all those big helmets and the big armor? Why are soldiers always yelling in combat? Posturing. The preferred method of self-defense is posturing. Over so, most aggression is nonviolent, and the first method of aggression is nonviolent aggression, preceding violent aggression, which is usually the last resort. Now, aggression comes from fear. When you're afraid, you get aggressive. The more afraid you are, the more aggressive you become. The reason. A dog growls and animals posture is they're afraid. A rattlesnake is afraid, shakes his tail. So martial arts can teach you how to defend yourself. So when someone gets in your face, you know you can handle yourself. <coughs> so martial arts teaches you self-defense. Now, when somebody approaches me and they're aggressive, I know. If this person hits me, I know what to do. I know how to protect myself. I'm less afraid, I'm less aggressive. And when you don't know how to defend yourself and you're afraid, you become more aggressive. The most aggressive people are people who are insecure. And you look at martial artists, you have a guy in their face saying, I want to kick your butt, and the martial artist is just calm. Because he knows if the guy attacks me, I can defend myself, I'm not afraid, I'm not going to behave aggressively, I'm going to be calm, like Jet Li. Right? So martial arts are very therapeutic because they can teach you how to defend yourself, they can help you be less afraid, and when you're less afraid, you're less aggressive. Good. Yeah. Take another question. Good.